The food choices we make determine how we're physically going to be better every single day. The chemicals can make our food or we can eat naturally and we can do better. Your choices make you better and I'll show you how. My name is Nick Tabor. I'm a personal trainer. I talk about this stuff on this channel because I've lived through it. Now, we have snack food questions that come up all the time. Are particular foods healthy? What's going on? Like, what if I choose this snack? Am I going to die? No, not necessarily, but depends on if you turn the snack into a meal. Like, I come across this all the time. Like, I looked at these things, and we always look, by a U.S. law, there has to be nutrition facts on every packaged food. So, like, I have a package of fig bars from Market Basket here, and you look at these nutrition facts at the bottom, and they just say, okay, like, what, how many calories it has, what is the macro breakdown like, and, you know, what else does it include? Also, what I, any vitamin content it might have. Fine. You know, that's good. You also have, and by the way, these are not sponsors, Doritos. Cool Ranch Doritos here. Okay, this itself, these bags... 150 calories per serving, and there's the breakdown of the macros. So you're trying to choose what type of snack. Okay, what is healthier? Okay, you have the fig bars on, you know, spoiler alert. This is better. And this is why you choose the food that loves you, because you can go absolutely crazy, which I used to be that guy in the supermarket. By the way, you do not want to be this guy right now, considering the way everything is who would read the ingredients. Corn, vegetable oil, salt, cornstarch, tomato powder, lactose, whey, skim milk, onion powder, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, okay, that's fine. And the end of it here includes disodium insulate and disodium gonolate. Yeah, that's fine, that's flavoring. Okay, those have chemicals, okay, that's gone. And then go pick the snacks for my family. And I look at this and I go, okay, bleach, flour, blah, 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 blah. Okay, Big Newtons is basically cookies. Okay, this is, just, there's nothing really much different to this. And these two in particular don't really have a big difference to them. But we want to look at something like, let's look at the vitamin content. So we look at, does it have, uh, it has a... Oh, 0.4 milligrams of iron in this. Um, the salt content is a lot lower. Now, snack foods in particular should be just momentary, um, momentary bites of food just to get your hunger taken care of for the given moment while you're in between meals. You know, so you look at these things, and you're like, oh, okay, but okay, you might look at the, uh, the content and say, okay, well... It has a little more calcium in the Doritos. Potassium's better. Um, the salt's a little higher. It's a, it's 190 milligrams of salt. But, you know, you pick the Doritos because of the potassium. You know what else has better potassium? Fruit. Yeah. Here's the thing. If you're choosing with the snacks and you're like, okay, which one is better... Pick the fruits. There's nothing, there's no real big things with it or any particular taste or, all right, I'd pick the fig bars too, but you got to look at some things when you pick particular snacks, like, is, you know, let's, let's get right into it. Number one, is it useful to me? Like, what is it going, you know, is it going to fill me up? Is it going to be something that, you know, A, I'm not going to eat an entire bag of, or I'm not going to eat an entire slip or slit, you know, in one sitting? So if you look at this, like, yeah, I could kill this entire bag immediately. I'm not going to. Why do I have these Doritos? Because I particularly like Cool Ranch every once in a great while. And, you know, I like to keep these on the side just to test myself. Um, but I do like the Fig Newton bars better. 
because this is at least it has some fig to it. It's like, okay, the sugar count's gonna be a little better. And if I've already eaten a banana today or I'm still a little hungry, I'll get a few of these and this will make me feel a lot better. Okay, so we've covered with the, the usage, right? So the other thing you want to do when you pick the particular snacks is, is it something that I'm actually, you know, is it something I'm going to eat? You know, is it something that's going to be fulfilling enough to me? And I know I sort of already covered this, but is it something that would be fulfilling enough to me to say, okay, I feel decent, I feel... Um, I feel good, but I'm just going to stop at a certain point. So, like, I've got a, like, a peanut butter right here. Like, I'll, I would kill an entire jar of peanut butter immediately, but I would eat it with, with some fruit. So that way I know I'm like, okay, I'm going to have a few spoonful of peanut butter, um, which usually that's a really good guilty vice. So I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of this. I'm just going to take, you know, I'm just going to take a little bit of it. So it's a matter of self-control. Remember, snacks are not meals. Snacks are snacks. That's it. You know, that's just generally it. Number three, when we found that it's useful, I'm not going to eat a lot of it. Is it something I'm going to enjoy? Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. But are you going to have that guilty feeling after? You know, are you going to have that guilty feeling? I'm just okay. Like, if I eat a few of these, am I going to feel guilty? But what are you going to do to burn something off? Now, here's the good thing. You got these. You got 110 calories right here. You got 150 calories on this one. It's going to take longer to burn off a serving of, potato of these chips than it is to burn off a serving of these of these. So 110 calories, I mean, you can get this and really walking a couple of times or at a good pace around your block, you could kill, you could kill this instantaneously. Also, drinking a good amount of water every day would really help out. But ultimately, is it natural? <laughs> it comes right back to this. F eat the food that loves you back. Like, this is from nature. These Chiquita bananas are from nature itself, and we naturally gravitate towards this food. We gravitate towards something like this because look at the cool design. Cool Ranch! Cool Ranch Doritos! I remember seeing something like in the 90s, this was sold to us via commercials of people on skateboards. And everybody did skateboards before everybody got a computer because it was the coolest way to get around. Skateboard rollerblades. Cool Ranch Doritos. Yeah, I ain't doing any of that. This garbage. You don't want any of that. This, fine. Choose a few. This is your friend. Love these. Love these as much as you can. These are your buddies. All right. So, slightly shorter video today, but honestly, there's not really much to say on this. Um, there's plenty of videos on this channel. I want you to go ahead and take a look. Every Wednesday, I will be going over uh, food and food preparations, um, so you can take a look at everything that we have to do. And we'll see where you can, okay? You have yourself an amazing day. As always, we climb, and we'll see you in the next video. Right there.